out, please. So, um, I know, aren't you excited? You get another hairstyle. All right, um, so last week I put up the um, Lazy Crown Braid uh, for those of you that were struggling like me. Um, and I put it in place of this hairstyle that I was messing around with a little bit. Um, I saw this hairstyle in a movie called Savage Grace um, that I got from Netflix. Uh, <laughs> it's got uh, Julianne Moore in it, um, the beautiful redheaded actress. Um, and uh, this hairstyle was in it. I think it was like 1937 in the um, movie, so um, I'm going to recreate it for you. I messed about with it a little bit and used it as a starting point and tried a few different hairstyles, but none of them I really like, so we're just going to go back to like original recreation flavor. So um, it's actually very easy, um, so I guess let's get started. All right, uh, to get some of the lift in the front, um, like you saw from the, uh, I suppose I should put the pictures of what we're trying uh, to recreate, so I'll make a little space now. Okay, we're back. Um, do you like my super awesome editing techniques? That's for me, so I know where to cut. Any hoodles? Um, that's the hairstyle that uh, we are going to recreate, um, which, as you can probably ascertain, is not really all that difficult. Um, and it's not all that difficult at all. But uh, we're going to need like just a little bit of lift up here, which I don't normally get from a ponytail, just because my ponytail is heavy and it drags it down. So we are going to take... Um, about this much hair on the crown of our head here, on the top of our head actually. Let me separate it out so you can see how much we're working with. Alright, I'm just going to pull this forward for the moment and get it out of the way. There we go. Alright, the rest of this I'm simply putting in a ponytail. Um, yay, a ponytail. Switch into the paddle brush because I find a handle is easier for me to um, control. Uh, I really wish my tangle teaser had a handle, let me just say. Alright, so we want a ponytail and I'm going to try and get it right up to here where this part is. Up, up, up we go. You know me, I have to have smoothness or I am not a happy girl. So, yeah. You know, sometimes the ponytail portion of my hairstyles takes longer than the rest of the style. <laughs> but I guess it just it just goes to show that you if you have a very um, good base to start with, then any hairstyle will turn out pretty. If your base is kind of crappy to start with, then... Your hairstyle is doomed. Um, doomed. Sorry. <laughs> Little callback to uh, Cannibal the Musical there. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> All right, so we have a ponytail. Let's go ahead and take this and make ourselves a little lift. Um, doo -doo. To achieve this little bit of lift, okay, we are going to twist like so and then push forward. Okay, I'm getting pointy lift. So let's a little less twist, a little more twist. You kind of just got to experiment with how much to twist. Um, my twisting. My hair is too clean, I think. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Uh, as those of you who fix your hair a lot have probably figured out, um, when your hair, let's twist the other way, is a little less clean, um, it cooperates more. No, it doesn't want to twist that way. Oh, that looks good. Okay. 
So we got some left. We're gonna take two bobby pins, the big ones for me, because I've got a lot of hair. And I'm going to pin it in an X pattern as such. Don't worry about the um, pin showing because we're gonna cover it up. Um, but yeah, you wanna X pin it. Hopefully you can actually see what's going on. There, you see? Oh, look, see, we've got lift. Now, this hair that we were just playing with, I'm going to take it and wrap it around my ponytail holder. Just to get it out of the way before we do the rest of the hairstyle. Um, yeah, because we need to. Alrighty. After it's all wrapped around, I'm gonna pin it off up here underneath, like so. There we go. Um, incidentally, you can go out like this if you want and be done with it. And just have a cute pony thing happen. Uh, but we're not. So what we're gonna do with this is we are going to braid it. Um, we're not going to braid it all the way down. As you can see from our starting picture, what we're wanting is a braid that comes around like this and then disappears into the bun. Um, and using all of this, we're going to achieve that look. So let's just begin. It is just a simple English braid. Nothing super difficult. Separate and free braid. Incidentally, I am not cutting away during the braiding portion because so many of you have complained that you can't figure out how long it's going to take to do a hairstyle um, since I cut away so much, which shouldn't really matter, really. Um, all right. Let's see. Couple more turns. Um, yeah, because most of my hairstyles aren't going to be take you more than 20 minutes to do. All right, let's see if that's enough. Not quite. A few more turns. Ding, ding, ding. We need to measure. Um, okay, if your hair is shorter than mine, what you're going to do is separate your ponytail into two sections, one of which you will braid and the other of which you will just leave alone. Okay? Um, your one section that you want to braid will be your accent and then the section that you leave loose um, make into your bun. I'm just going to use the one big piece because I have enough hair that I can. Um, but if your hair is shorter, two sections. There you go. Uh, Siobhan taught me that. That by there we go. Okay, actually I need to unbraid about three twists. Okay, so I'm going to have this much hair left over. It's my hair tie. To do my bun. Um, but like I said, if your hair is shorter, one braid and the rest ponytail. Um, but here we go. My braid. Let me get my little pins. Got out the big ones, left the little ones in. Okay, so I'm just going to pin this up and over like so. Just pin it in there. I am trying to put the pins to the uh, back side of the braid so you can't see them from the front. Uh, most people can't see the top of my head since I'm so tall. So, um, yeah. Alright, one more. Okay, and now with the rest of this, I'm making a bun. 
around the rest of this bun that is up here. Already. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. And I will just tuck and pin. Might only need one pin. Let me look. That would be awesome. Oh, I'm like all lopsided out of there. We'll just move you over a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna add a couple pins to this braid just so it doesn't move. I have got to get me some new magic drift grips, y'all. They are really the best for my big bulky type braids. Okay. That should work. Let's have another look see. Yay, there we go. Okay. Padar. And um, before you say anything about the fact that it doesn't look exactly the same, a couple of caveats. Um, number one, uh, as you can tell, um, well, you can't tell, you didn't watch the movie. Let's just say, in the movie, Julianne's hair was only this long. Therefore, the big uh, braid around her head is not possible. So it was clearly a hair piece. Um, which, you know, granted, who knows how long it was. Doesn't matter. Any hoodles. Um, so, as, as always when doing movie styles, movie people get to use hair pieces. I only have my own to work with. Granted, it's pretty plentiful, so we can usually do it. That said, this bit, this braid is super thick. Um, because my hair is pretty thick. Um, I like thick braid. Since my hair will do it, it makes me happy and I'm going to wear it, so... Um, however, had I split it in two and did one skinny braid, then it probably would have looked a little closer, but I wanted to do it this way because I can. And um, a lot of you guys <laughs> always say that uh, you wish I could make styles for shorter hair, but I'll have some of you know I have some gals out there with hair longer than mine, and this one will be a good one for them to eat up even more length. See what I'm saying? Okay. So, any hoodles. Besides, I told you guys how to go about doing it if your hair is a little shorter. Here is our style for the day. I'm calling this the Julianne. Um, oh, I have these. Maybe we should put these in it. Um, Siobhan sent me these. That would be pretty, I think. Let's see, especially since I can see one of my giant pins up there at the top. So we will cover it. Like that. Oh, that's pretty. And let me see if I have some more sparklies, because, you know, I can't leave well enough in those. Alright, um, I know we had a small thing there, because I was just blathering on and on looking for sparkly pins, so. I have some sparkly pins, um, which I think makes them look cute. So, any hoodles, there is your hair file, hairstyle for the day, the Julianne. Um, I know, I just named it after Julianne more because it was easier to do that than Try and think of something on my own. But, uh, okay, guys, I will see you next time. I'm not sure what we're doing. Something fun, probably another updo. Just because, uh, thank you. Yeah. So, um, I guess I will see you next time. Um, until then, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.